Hi and welcome to controlling your Sitecore website from Salesforce using implicit control with the S4S connector from Fuse IT. I'm Anastasia Cambridge. With S4S you'll be able to seamlessly exchange information between Sitecore and Salesforce, opening up a new world of opportunities for marketing, sales and customer service in your business. This short video is part of a series of recordings designed to get you introduced to the many features and functions of the S4S connector, highlighting the benefits of being able to bi-directionally update any of the objects in Sitecore and or Salesforce. So with so much to cover, let's get you introduced to controlling your Sitecore website from Salesforce using implicit control with S4S. Firstly, let's take a quick look at how the S4S Mapping Wizard easily connects your Sitecore Web Form for Marketers contact form with Salesforce. In your Sitecore admin area, click on the S4S Mapping application. You'll see a list of forms you've previously created with the tool, with the intention of mapping the form data to Salesforce. Select the contact form you've created and work through each form field and select the appropriate Salesforce field to map each form field to. Save each mapped field as you work through this. As this is a contact form, you also have the option of mapping the form to a Salesforce campaign. You might use this feature to capture contacts from different events, like a user conference or a seminar, and automatically add the contact to an appropriate campaign, saving on admin time. When you are finished, select Save Mappings and exit the wizard. Now let's go and have a look at a Sitecore website. Before we start, note on the home page of the Sitecore website that the home page default information is displayed. Next is an anonymous visitor navigate around the site. In this scenario, we are a visitor interested in holiday products. If we click on holiday products and navigate around the various products on the website, we should be hitting the profile key values configured in your admin area of Sitecore. We can also trigger goals as we navigate around, for example if we go to the Contact Us USA page. Before we go to the contact form, let's have a look at the home page again. Note that the home page is now showing holiday products. This is standard cycle personalization functionality that we have triggered by navigating around holiday products, which has overruled the original home information. Now let's navigate to where you placed your contact web form for marketers form and fill in the details. In this scenario, we are only completing the first name, last name and email fields. This is important to demonstrate implicit control where the website visitor is anonymous, but is now submitting a contact form which will join the cookies triggered by the visitor with a contact record in Salesforce. Submit the form and S4S will seamlessly communicate the contact details captured on the form to Salesforce. Now let's have a look at the newly created contact in Salesforce. Navigate to the contact tab in your Salesforce application. Click on the contact you've just created. Here you can see the details of the contact created by S4S from your Sitecore website. You can see their name and email address and other related details. Next, if we navigate to the page history section, we will be able to see the actual pages that we viewed as we navigated around the website. From here, we can then go back and look at the analytics section. In this section, click on the view details button. On this page, you can see the profile key values we earned as a visitor to the site. While we're here, in this scenario, we want to further customise the contact's individual website experience after learning more about the products that they are interested in. To illustrate an example of this, we will edit the profile key values so the home information becomes a dominant focus on the home page for this visitor, rather than the holiday products. S4S will now communicate the profile key value changes back to the Sitecore website once we've hit Save to Sitecore. Now let's go and have a look at the Sitecore website again and see how we have implicitly adjusted the experience of the anonymous visitor for future visits. Note on the home page that the home information is once again displayed and we have therefore successfully modified the individual website experience for this contact from Salesforce with S4S. Please note that this is an example of personalization from Salesforce using Sitecore 7.2. Sitecore version 7.5 and above have an even richer array of information communicated through to Salesforce using S4S. With a basic understanding of controlling your Sitecore website from Salesforce using implicit control with S4S, feel free to explore our other videos. 
Thank you for watching. Please contact us if you have any questions or would like to know more about the S4S connector from Fuse IT.